friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we are going to be unboxing a brand new special edition from the Wizarding Trunk. I'm really excited. I do believe the theme may be House Pride, but we will discover it together. Now, just before we get started, this video is indeed sponsored by the Wizarding Trunk. So if you like what you see and you wanna get your very own Wizarding Trunk box, check out the link in the description down below. And hey, I got your back because I've got you a discount code. That's right, you can use Magical Family and get some money off. I'd also like to say that this box and its contents are not Wizarding World official products, but let's get started because I cannot wait to dive in. Oh, and if you're new here, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button and become part of our weird magical online family, but let's go because there's a lot of magical to reveal. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All righty then, so here we have it, the Wizarding Trunk High Security Vault. Let's open it on up and throw away the cheat sheet. <laughs> I don't want spoilers. So this is your little sneak peek. I'm gonna do a tiny little reveal and then put the box to one side. The first thing that is getting my attention, first things first, it's a common room candle. This is cute. I love the artwork on there. It says it smells like smoldering wood, roasted vanilla, cardamom, and bravery. I don't know how so it could smell like bravery, but I'm guessing they're all different house colors. So I guess if you're a Slytherin, you'd have probably got a Slytherin candle. The smoldering wood scent makes me feel like I might not like this candle, but I'll give it a go. Ooh. No, I think they've actually nailed the common room scent. That's really weird. That's a nice start. I feel as though we haven't had many candles in subscription boxes for a while. Let's dive into something else. We've got ourselves a notebook. So this is a notepad rather, and it is Gryffindor specific. So that's really cool that they've done that for all the houses. And it's quite nice. It looks like parchment. It's all the same on each page and it's quite a good thickness. Honestly, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I tend to use these notepads a lot more than notebooks because they're just easy to scribble things down on. You don't have to open it up, keep the page. So yeah, this is definitely something that I will make a lot of use out of and it's a very nice practical product. So pretty happy with that. What else do we have in here? Ooh, what is this? Oh, we have a sticker. This is a Gryffindor style sticker. We've got a lion on there and a little G. The sticker's not just thin paper. It's pretty nice quality. It's quite thick. You can see there, it's pretty good. I think it's a vinyl sticker of some sort. But yeah, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that, but pretty cool to have a decent sized sticker. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, cool. This is like the Quidditch patches to go on the back of robes. That's pretty cool. Like the chosen one. <laughs> and it's this kind of teddy material as well. I'm not sure what that material is actually called. I'm sure it has a specific name, but this is a patch that you can apply to any garments, bags, do whatever you want. You can, I don't know if it's an iron on one or if it's just for sewing, but it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay. Oh, it's like soft touch. <gasps> it's a cushion cover. Okay, here it is. I'll show you the full cushion cover here. This is really nice quality. It feels like faux suede. We've got the lion in the middle. Oh, I'd love to see the Slytherin version of this. I think Slytherin colors are probably my second favorite house colors. It does have a zip as well. So it's not one of those cheap pillowcases. I remember we went through a phase of getting really bad pillowcases in boxes, but the last few that we've had don't seem to be too bad. But yeah, this feels really nice. Um, it's a shame that they only give one. I think having sets of pillowcases, I would never go into a shop and just buy a singular cushion case. I normally always have the symmetry of two. Maybe that's just me, but either way, it could be like a middle like feature cushion, I suppose. But I really like that. It feels nice and it's on theme and the design's not bad either. Sadly, it will not go with my green living room. <gasps> There's a very cool product, which we'll have a look at next. Uh, after the next one. Um, I've got this in my hand already though. I'm very excited though. So this is a beanie and it looks like quite a nice one. Shall we put it on? Is my big head gonna fit in it? 
Oh, that's quite... An, I'm not a beanie gal, but I feel like that's... That's quite a cute beanie, actually. The quality is nice. The colours are good. It's very on-house theme. Okay, let me show you what the next product is. I can't wait any longer. Like, it's, it's a beanie. We've seen many of these before. It is a nice, nicely made one, though. I will... I will say that. The quality feels nice of this one. Now, this... I want to know what tapestries they've given for the other houses. Do they have tapestries for all of the common rooms? I need to know. Have you got this box? Have you got this? This is a quarterly special edition box, by the way, but I want to know what other house. Oh my goodness, it's the full. Oh, look at that. Hang on. It's so big. <laughs> there we have it. Full size. It's huge. That's so beautiful. I guess you could frame this or use it as like a bandana. That would be a quite nice use if we folded it like so. And then we could use it as a little. I know this is probably not what it's designed for, but you know, DIY. And then you could do it at the top as like a little tapestry hair thing. I don't know. I, I'm always trying to find uses for fabric tapestries like this because I I just don't tend to put them on my wall. But I guess with a little bit of a steam, I could. But yeah, it's a definitely a nice thing to have in a Gryffindor house pride box, but it's definitely got me curious to what other tapestries they put into the other houses. So let me know down below. Maybe send me a picture somewhere if you have one of those. Ah, okay, another Gryffindor tie. I'm not gonna lie, I could start my own Gryffindor tie shop now. So here's the tie. The quality of this one is nice. Uh, the colors are quite vibrant. This isn't the exact same color as the robes, but either way, it's a nice tie. It's uh, quite well made. It's made out of polyester. You've got the little tie tidy at the back But yeah, I don't have too much to say about that It's a Gryffindor tie and I guess if you've never had a house pride box or maybe you don't have any of the cosplays This is a pretty cool item to receive. Ooh, okay Something that I missed with the tapestries are these clips. These are tapestry Hangers so that you can put one on either corner and then it will like drape down So that's always nice that they include those with the tapestries. Let's see what else is in here Ooh, I want to know what this is We've got a bag and it's got like a, a ring, like a signet ring. Let's have a look. Are you going to fit? Just about fits on my thumb. It's an interesting choice to include rings in boxes like this because everyone has different ring finger sizes. You can see that that is so big for me. So that's definitely not ever going to be a wearable piece. It could be a decor piece. Is this meant to be one of the rings to do with Sirius? I feel like we've had this product before. I recognize this idea to put in a box. I don't know if it's Wizarding Trunk or someone else, but I've definitely seen over the last few months another ring like this. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, we have got a Prefect badge. This is really nicely made, actually. I like the size of this. It's quite chunky. I think that's pretty cool. There's, these are the clasps on the back. It's quite nice. I like it. Perfect for your cosplays if you want to be a prefect for your Hogwarts house. Ooh, we've got ourselves a print or another book cover. Okay, so, oh, it's a common room print. Look at that. Oh, I thought it was going to be like really long. <laughs> so here it is, the Gryffindor common room print. I've got to say, that does look cozy and quite cute. I like that. It's the same design that's on the common room candle for Gryffindor nice little print. You could put this print in your very own common room at home. Now there is another box and another pin and some, oh there's quite a lot in this. We've got another pin. This is of what I would assume to be their take on Godric Gryffindor. That's got to be Godric Gryffindor. I love the frame of this. I like the style of these pins, the kind of wizarding portrait ones. Very cool. There's the back, double clasps. Yeah, I just like the kind of enamel that's meant to be glass. So shiny, very nice. Now I saw something else that I thought was another pin, but it's actually, I really like this. I might actually put this on my, my keys, you know. This is a Gryffindor inspired keyring and it's got, um, what's it meant to say? Bravery down here. Uh, that's meant to be the Gryffindor sword. We've got golden snitches there as well. Uh, we've got a lion head. That's really cool. I do like that. The detail on here is pretty cool. I really like it. 
What do you guys think? Again, I really want to see the other kit. I'm gonna have to go and watch other people's unboxings. That's so nice. I like that a lot. What have we got left? We've got some prints. We have a box, which I'll save till last. Let's have a look at some of the artwork. Okay, there's a few different pieces in here, but let's take a look at them all together. So here we've got, oh, this is like something to put on the common room wall. It says Hippogriff Pups for Sale. One galleon, not housebroken, registered with the Department of Magical Creatures. Do not play well with ferrets. <laughs> of course, no, they'll, they'll be snacks. That's pretty cool. I like that. So if you had any pin boards, you could put that on. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the Salem Sisters notice. So live in the Great Hall on Halloween. That's pretty awesome too and then oh I really like this as a set it's like a common room print set it says dear students a biting boomerang wreaked havoc on the common room last night sending two students to the hospital wing there is reason the biting boomerang is on the prohibited item list so 50 house points have been lost as a result of this if you know who released this bloody menace into our common room please report them to myself or the headmaster immediately. Sincerely, your prefect. So there we have it, it looks handwritten. That's so cool. I think that's a really clever way of adding prints into the box. I liked the concept of those a lot, actually. Let's talk about the last physical item. Okay, this has gotta be a potion. Aha, it is. Let's have a look. Ooh, <gasps> oh, look at that. So this is the draft of disillusionment. Become the exact color and texture of your environment. That's pretty cool. Uh, again, obsessed with that kind of magical luster that is put into, look, like, doesn't that just scream magic to you? That's so cool. I could watch these for, I could just play with these for hours and watch all of the magic is so beautiful. So that's cool. Again, I would love to see the other potions for the other houses. I've got to go have a look, but that's the potion. Okay, let's take a look at the cheat sheet real quick. So number one was the school tie. Here we are. <laughs> one of the required items of the school uniform is your school tie. We've included a brand new one in this box, so you don't have to take a trip to the Wizarding Alley and pick one up. Very thoughtful of you. Then we had the common room painting, and it says these common room paintings were created by Queen... Queen Ma and Wizardry Workshop. Uh, then we have the slouchy beanie. It says these slouchy beanies were created specifically for the students that received the wizarding trunk. We also had the portrait pin, which depicts a very important person of your Hogwarts house. And then we had the house team letterman patch. And it says, the patch number represents the position that you play on the house team. So a number one. Oh, number one. Sorry, I held it like that. <laughs> now the common room key. Oh, it's the key to the common room, okay. It says, having trouble remembering that common room password, afraid to write down the answers again for fear of what happened last time you did that. This key should help. Well, I'm definitely gonna put that on my common room keys. Then we had the house stationery and it says, Perfect for taking notes in magical or non-magical subjects. I must agree with that. Then we had, it says house potions. Oh, okay. So here it says all of the four different potions. So there's Deadly Nightshade, the Disillusionment Draft, the Tangled Golden Glow, which I'm guessing is Hufflepuff, uh, Wide Eye Potion. Mm, nearly, really want to see those. Then we had the Prefect's Pin. Tell you what, there was a lot in this box. We had the Prefect Pin. So congratulations on becoming the new school prefect. We also have the common room tapestry. These tapestries can be found in each of the common rooms. Then the common room notices, which we saw last. It says just a few of the notices that were posted to your common room notice board. And then we had the class ring wax stamp. <gasps> oh! Okay, it says your class ring has arrived. Create for display, but can be used as a wax stamp. Well, that's clever. I kind of want to give that a little go. Then we had the vinyl sticker, the decal, and then we had the common room candle as well. And then a throw pillow cover too, which was, uh, let's just take a look at everything. The next box theme, by the way, is potions class, but this box has been 
jam-packed. That's quite the haul. Looking at everything together is really satisfying being a Gryffindor. I don't even know where to start with my favourite things. I actually really liked the prints that they did in that set. I really liked the keyring. I loved the candle as well. That tapestry is cute. As a whole, I think if you've never had a house pride box before, this is perfect and I think any wizard or witch would really enjoy this in their Hogwarts house. There's a really nice mixture of things as well. We've got wearables, we've got artwork, we've got stationery, accessories, badges. There's a lot of stuff and it's really cool and it's per and it's perfectly on theme. This might be one of my favourite boxes that the Wizarding Trunk have done in a while actually. I think it's really cool. We've even got homeware in there as well. So yeah, as per usual, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm going to go check out some unboxings of this one because I really want to have a little nose. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give yourself some Hogwarts house points by giving this video a quick thumbs up. 10 points to you. And I guess I will see you in my next one. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'm going to find a home for this candle like I don't own too many candles already I've got a candle problem but <sighs> I really does smell quite nice I could definitely smell the vanilla and I can smell the woodiness but it's a pleasant wood very nice right I'm gonna go put this on my keyring and I will see you next time bye guys